training my mechanics for a week. I'm trying to get better. Not really for any specific reason or any financial reason or any competitive reason. I'm just trying to get better to get more victory royales more often. So how am I gonna do that? I got a step plan here. I got three things to help me improve my mechanics and those things are free building, 1v1 realistics, and zone wars. So we are training my mechanics for a week. So let's get to it. So day number one, triple edits. I do practice these a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little too much. Obviously, I still haven't been able to triple edit and keep on moving. I always keep getting stuck with the floor, cone, and wall, like all three of them. And I also practice my edits, mostly crosshair placement and placing of walls, different maneuvers to get high ground, like using the cone to go up safely. I also practiced side jumps, of course, not good at those either. I also learned you can also put a wall before you side jump. It's another thing I try to practice. And I just mess with the ramp and try to learn how to move it faster because I see a lot of people do that. Free building, day one. Played Ken Bean's 1v1 speed realistics. From free building under no pressure to fighting people and having a lot of pressure on you, I just get too nervous and I just overthink or underthink. I'm not really too sure. It's just, it's like I can't build as fast because I'm too focused trying to fight and I just forget that I need to build. So I can't build as fast or focus as well, but that's what we're practicing. Luckily for me, I have decent aim, so it carried me through most of these battles. And yeah, I don't really know the score. The score wasn't there, but the player quit. I think I won most of them, I think. And that was day one of Speed Realistics. So, Forever Zone Wars, day one. This is so new to me that it's almost alien, dude. Like, having to deal with zone and then with players, like 10, 20, 12 players at the same time is just crazy like i was a bit overconfident i thought i would drop the nuke i thought i was that good but i wasn't even able to get the three kill streak shotgun so yeah i was just mostly lost my awareness was out the window i was just slow i've never trained for zone at all so yeah I guess you can guess what happens. I'm just a thousand percent out of my element. It's just like war, like you don't know what's going on. Everything is happening. It's too much stimulation, honestly. Staying alive and getting a kill streak was the hardest part. Basically, I just boxed up a lot, got a few kills here and there. I just kept dying. It wasn't great. I was just lost, honestly. Great training, great map, not great me gaming wise it wasn't great but it was good practice day number two started off with triple edits again of course i'm still not that great at them even after practicing a long time free building and practicing my builds for some reason i can't get it down and again we worked on trying to do high ground retake being fully covered by using the cone method and using walls for protection. It's just another way to practice my cone edits and my walls. And then again, some edits. Some window edits, some peanut butter edits, and some side jumps that it seems that I didn't do correctly again. But after practicing, I've gotten pretty good at jumping sideways. It's more like, uh, instead of a 50-50 chance of falling off, it's more like a 70-30. But yeah, those are the things I worked on again for day two day two of ken beans 1v1 realistics i've gotten more used to placing builds kinda now that i've practiced placing builds it's a bit faster i spend a little bit less time trying to figure out what to place and where to place it of course i still don't place where i need to be or do what i want to do but i'm getting there after fighting multiple times I guess I'm gonna have to learn through a lot of experience. Luckily this time the score is on the top right so you guys can see what I get at the end. But yeah, I'm getting a bit more confident. I'm getting used to placing what I want to place, where I want to place it, but I still get a, I still get a few hiccups here and there. 
But yeah, work in progress. Still, I'm very lucky I have good aim, honestly. All right, day two of Forever Zone Wars. Of course, there's not really much to see of Forever Zone Wars. It's crazy, it's hectic. Half the time I don't know what's going on and half the time I'm dying in storm. Besides practicing my awareness and practicing boxing up here, not much really happens. I occasionally get the lucky kill here and there, but no, my builds are too not that great to do 1v1s here. And I always get third partied, but still good practice because I need zone practice. I'm not really good at fighting in zone or moving through zone while building. So it's kind of like free building, but yeah, I still haven't got the streak. Any streak, pretty hectic. Prayed this for a long time, but yeah, I'm still a mess. And yeah, that was day two of Forever Zone Wars. Welcome to day three. Today we started off with some side jumps while placing the wall. Now I'm pretty confident that I can 80, 20% chance that I won't fall doing side jumps. Yeah. Also practice triple edits. Doing them fast wasn't doing it for me, so I just started doing them slower because I just kept messing up. There was like no point of trying to do it faster and faster if I can't even do it correctly slowly. So yeah. And yeah, I practiced a few edits with the ramp and I also did the cone high ground retake again. I've gone a bit faster with it. It's more natural, more instinctive, but I mess up here and there, which is fine. But progress is progress, I guess. And again, we did more edits. Again, working on crosshair placement, edit speed, and positioning for fights. Also, I just randomly decided to do drop-off edits, or I don't know what they're called. It's where you fall off and you build, build so you don't take fall damage. Because I've actually never practiced it before, so... I also practice some ramps. That's what we did today. That's day three of Mark Taz's 1v1 map. Today was a bit weird. I fought people that were a bit better, faster, and just overall, you know, better. Of course, again, my aim carried me, but these people were a bit more cracked than I'm usually used to. Now I can basically place half of my builds. I can basically place half of the builds where I want them and I can now edit a bit faster during these intense encounters while fighting people. And my tracking has, all, has also gotten a bit better. Like instead of being super lost and not knowing where my enemy is, um, my awareness has gotten a bit better. Sure, I occasionally mess up and I'm not looking the right direction when fighting, but I've lowered it and uh, yeah. Still, aim carries me heavily. If it wasn't for my aim, I would be losing so much more than I am right now. Luckily for me, some of my opponents just don't have good awareness. Like the opponent I'm fighting right now, their awareness isn't good at all and they don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. They're basically lost, which is good for me, but not good for them. I also did some wall retakes. Can't believe my skills have improved. Taking walls is uh, something else I've been trying to practice, but it's really hard to practice when you don't have an opponent to do it with. Um, I would do it when I'm free building, but I don't have no one to <laughs> no one to practice with. So this is the only time I get to practice wall retakes. And I've also gotten a bit better at running away, in a way. Um, instead of getting stuck and screwed in a situation, I've minimized the, the chances of that happening. I still play things slowly. It's what I do. And this is day three of Ken Beans 1v1. I'm just so proud that I'm finally placing things, editing more often, and having more awareness. Because it's so helpful. Ken Beans 1v1 day three. Day three of Forever Zone Wars. I've gotten a bit more confident. I'm more, what's it called? I'm a bit more of a risk taker. Because I know that there's not that much risk dying because you respawn instantly so i'm a bit more confident i'm just <laughs> rushing people more building more doing everything more <laughs> instead of just being lost and since i've improved my awareness i kind of know more or less where more people are i'm still a bit confused i still don't notice where everyone is but i'm getting there as for moving with zone i've improved a bit more sadly i still die a lot but yeah 
I've just gone confident. This mode is more like fun, but it's also good practice. Day four. Welcome to day four of Martaz's 1v1 practice map. Today felt today I felt a bit off. Um, of course I've been practicing slower, but I felt like I was messing up more. I don't know. I didn't feel that great today, editing wise. I felt a bit sloppy, but I, I don't know. Maybe it was just me. But luckily for me, my editing speeds at least gotten better. And now my side jumps are now up to like 85, 15. I think that's how it works. 85, 15% chance that I fall. I've improved it a lot. And I've also improved my editing speeds after practicing a long time because editing was like something I wasn't good at. So I practiced it a really long time. So I've gotten more consistent with my editing. I've also practiced other types of edits like more wider edits instead of just doing the small ones. And I really, really, really practice my peanut butter edits because I use those more often. And that's all I did today. Honestly, just edits, uh, triple edits, and that's it. Day four, Ken Bean's 1v1 Realistics. I'm way better at tracking, I'm way better at editing, and I'm way better at placing builds. I've been winning a bit more, and I don't know, I've just been playing better. Like, I'm not messing up as much. I'm able to pull out builds when I need them most of the time. Tracking is almost second nature. Of course, I'm not perfect. I mess up less, but I still mess up. But now I'm able to place builds without panicking as much, which is great. And my edits are kind of shining through now. Like, I don't forget to edit and take cover. I'm using cover and edits more often. I'm using peaks more often. So I guess my edits have paid off though aim still carries me it's whatever i got more points this is the score i got i fought many people i did pretty good day four ken beans 1v1 okay forever zone wars faster building more kills more wall retakes playing slower i react quicker i know where my opponents are i still die but overall everything's just faster since everything's so fast i just got faster this round ended with a nuke this player dropped it forever zone wars day four day five again we started off with triple edits uh for some reason i've done a lot like i've practiced this like multiple times i still mess up the wall i genuinely don't know <laughs> what i'm doing wrong please let me know because like i keep messing up the wall i don't know like i'm either too close or too far away i feel like i'm editing it correctly but like i don't know something's off again we did more safe high ground retakes by using cones and boxing up and i practiced my edits um I was doing them more slowly to practice my crosshair placement. My side jumps haven't improved much, but they're still kind of the same, honestly. Yeah, but the triple edit part sucks. This was day five, Martaz's practice map. Ken Bean's 1v1 realistics. I'm playing more smartly. I'm playing more safer because of what I learned with the cones. I'm now applying more of what I'm practicing into like real battles instead of just like panicking and forgetting what to do. I'm playing slower and thinking more of what I'm gonna do and what I'm doing. So my builds, not faster, but better. Like I'm more focused instead of just panicking. In playing slower, I move better. So I know it's not faster, but like like everything I'm doing is what I wanna be doing instead of just spamming builds and yeah, spamming. So in exchange for speed, I play more accurately, I guess. And yeah, so it was a bit better. Of course, I didn't win as much this time, but I, I was just better, you know, in general. More focused, less jittery. Yeah, this is day five. Ken Bean's 1v1 map. Better building, um, more aware. Yes, things are still crazy. Yes, I still suck sometimes, but it's less and less day by day i don't know i'm playing smarter i guess there's not much you can do when there's a whole lobby against you and 
yeah I'm just applying everything I've been learning using my aim playing smart really thinking before I do which is something I used to never do and I've actually survived longer which is I guess the one thing that's good so far I don't know what else is improved when you're fighting 12 people you can't really know what you're improving the only way to know your like gains is your builds and how long you live and <laughs> how little damage you take I'm honestly doing better with fights building avoiding running away my awareness is better but I'm still spammy when I panic I didn't do that well but it's whatever I guess I just have to play smarter, be faster, and be more aware. Well, yeah, that's all that happened in Zone Wars. So this was day five of Forever Zone Wars. Day six, Martaz's practice map. Um, these next two days, they're kind of the same. So I'm going to just go through them a bit faster. Yeah, it's just kind of the same. We did triple edits like usual. Still messing up. I practiced my peanut butter edits, wide edits edits crosshair placement and the same with the cone box retakes in the end i guess i just still suck at triple edits but yeah this was day six of martaz's practice map day six ken beans 1v1 speed realistics um <laughs> we fought a pretty decent uh player i'm using all my builds everything that i practiced i'm applying pressure i'm finding angles i'm tracking my opponent i'm playing it slower faster using edits i don't know i'm just faster i actually use my builds sure sometimes i forget still but i use them but this guy had better aim so i kind of sucked a bit more than normal here <laughs> honestly but yeah this is day six ken Bean speed realistics day six of forever zone wars it's the same as before like i said it's hard um I get more kills, honestly. I play a little bit better. I'm more aware. Everything that I practice is going into use. There's not much to say, honestly. <laughs> I'm just playing better. Safer, smarter, faster. Ooh, one thing I really noticed is that I don't get stuck in Storm anymore. But besides that, it's all the same. This was Forever Zone Wars, day number six. Okay, so finally day seven. I, uh, in the end, I hate triple editing. Not really though, but <laughs> I just can't get it down. Like I could get a few going, but then I just mess up. Honestly, I just feel like I need more practice or something with timing, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's how I feel about that. As for the thing that I improved most in, I feel like it's editing walls. Like the amount of speed I've gotten editing and just having good crosshair placement is nutty i think that's one of the things i've actually gotten very good at still a bit rough around the edges but way faster than when we started and as for my cones i say they're all right could be better honestly for a person who was not good i can now successfully do this without messing up almost a hundred percent of the time honestly i've gone way faster because i practiced it practiced it a lot and I'm pretty proud. And as for my side jumps, I, I still feel like I'm stuck at 85% chance that I could fall. Maybe 86, let's see, 1% one in, one improvement so I could fall. Eh, maybe 86, let's see, 1% one one improvement. But where I shine is in my 1v1s. After playing multiple, multiple matches, 1v1ing lots and lots of people, I've just become a monster with speed. <laughs> well, I say speed. I'm I'm shaking. <laughs> um, more like nervous speed. But now I could place where I want to. Edits are easier. Resets are easier because I've practiced really hard on my wall edits and my resets. That's one of the things I've practiced the most of. I really shine in one v oneing when it's against my wall, but I still mess up a lot. And my strategies and my what's it called? My awareness isn't great. And when I fight really good people like this guy who have insane aim, I'm not. I just don't do good. I'm better overall, right? But 
this guy was really good and I just kept missing a lot and that's why I didn't get that much of a high score but yeah I'm gonna continue to practice this because it's really important to be able to fight in the end this guy beat me points wise his aim is crazy so that's why I lost I really didn't like forever zone wars I'm just not skilled enough to survive or to play correctly and I just die a lot um, I would personally enjoy it more if I was a better player uh, it's kind of like throwing shade on it it's it's a good it's a good um it's a good game mode it's just way too hard for me I can't I can't play against all these uh, good players I always end up dying every single time I don't know overall I'm not I'm not good enough to play this map effectively or for fun it's just way too hard personally speaking so yeah I tried my best couldn't succeed I wasn't even able to get the pump so that proves how bad I am